Hello, you're welcome. How to solve this nice exponential equation? Solution from here. What we have here factor 4 raised to power x out as is, we have 4 raised to power x into brackets 1 plus 1 plus 1 left here, close bracket equals to 20 on this side. Then from here, we have 4 raised to power x times 1 plus 1 plus 1, that's 3 equals to 20 here. The next step, divide both sides by 3. Now, let's divide this side by 3. Also, divide this side by 3 here. 3 cancel each other here. We have 4 is to power x equals to 20 over 3. Then, next step here, we take log on both sides. Here we have log 4 is to power x equals to log 20 over 3 that is we apply the power log log when we have log m is to power p the same thing as p log m that is here we have x log 4 equals to log 20 over 3 here the next step here divide both side log 4. Let's just divide this side by log 4. Also, divide this side by log 4. Then here, yeah, log 4 cancel each other here. Yeah. That is, we have x equals to log 20 over 3 divided by log 4. Then, from here, this follows when we have log a over B, which is the same thing as log A minus log B. This here, this becomes x equals to log 20 minus log 3 over log 4. We we'll separate this into two fractions and we have x equals to log 20 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then, next step here also 20 can be written as 4 times 5, which implies what we have becomes x equals to log 4 times 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. The next step here, this follows the law of log logarithm. When we have log a times b, which is the same thing as log a plus log b. At this here, we have x equals to log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then here we separate this into two fractions. We have x equals to log 4 over log 4 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. That is a log 4 cancel each other. We have one left here, which implies x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 4 minus log 3 over log 4. Then next step uh, here, we can rewrite 4 as 2 times 2, that's 2 squared. Then what we have here becomes x equals to 1 plus log 5 over log 2 squared minus log 3 over log 2 squared. Then we apply the power of log here yeah, to come the another way and we have x equals to 1 plus log 5 over 2 log 2 minus log 3 
over 2 log 2. Then, here we can write this as x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 times log 5 over log 2 minus 1 over 2 times log 3 over log 2. Then we apply to your base. When we have log A over log B, it's same thing as log A to base B. At this here we have x equals to 1 plus 1 over 2 log 5 base 2 minus 1 over 2 log 3 base 2. And we bring this together as one fraction. This 1 over 1, we have x equals to the SCM here, that's 2. This becomes 2 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 base 2. And this we have the value of x here. And let's check if this satisfies this given value. And this we substitute the value of x here, which is x equals to 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 that is what we have here becomes 4 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 plus also 4 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 also plus 4 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is it equals to 20 on this side that is we have same thing added together three times now we have a plus a plus a the same thing as 3 times a. Also, here we can write this as 3 times 4 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2 is equal to 20 on this side. And here, 4 can be written as 2 squared, that is 3 times 2 squared. Which is raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2 all over 2. Is it equals to 20 on this side? Yeah, this power multiplies. 2 here cancel each other. We have 3 times 2 raised to power 2 plus log 5 base 2 minus log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 20 on this side? We apply the law of indices. I write as 3 times 2 raised to the power 2 times 2 raised to the power log 5 base 2 over 2 raised to the power log 3 base 2. Is it equals to 20 on this side? This becomes 3 times 2 squared, that's 4. And since this follows when we have 3 raised to the power log b. To base a, which is equals to b. At this a, we have 5 over 3. Is it equals to 20 on this side? This a, we have these three cancel each other. Then 4 times 5. Is it equals to 20? Oh, of course, 4 times 5 that's 20. Equals to 20 from here. Left hand side equals to the right hand side. And therefore, we conclude that x equals to 2 plus log 5 is 2 minus log 3 is 2 all over 2 satisfy this given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe for more videos. Turn the description below. Share this video with thumbs up and put your comments. See you next class and bye for now.